Hello my friends of No Nation and welcome back to another video of Barca News. As always, I've been surfing the net just to bring you the latest news. So if you are not relaxed, if you are not seated, if you don't have your mojito, go and grab something to drink and stay tuned because I will be telling you the latest news about Barcelona. There is only one week apart until the season from Barcelona starts. We're gonna play three games before La Liga and before the Super Spanish Cup. So the directors and the tech teams like Luis Enrique and other important people from Barcelona, they're gonna have a meeting with Bartomeu, Robert Fernandez, Jordi Mestre, Albert Soler, Javier Bordas, VIP from Barcelona, to discuss a few points. The first point that they are going to discuss is uh, to find a goalkeeper just in case, because as you know, the ego from, uh, from Ter Stegen and Claudio Bravo is too high and they both wanna play everything. It's true that Claudio Bravo was chosen the best goalkeeper from South America after winning the Copa America the second year in a row, so he wants to play everything, he has proven himself. And then Ter Stegen, he has said that he has been patient for two years and now he thinks he's ready to play everything and he wants the, the, the managers and the directors to trust him. So it's gonna be hard because we don't want any of them to leave, but Pep wants one of both because he doesn't trust Joe Hart too much for City and he wants Claudio Bravo Ter Stegen just in case. The most in interesting one is Claudio Bravo because it would be a little bit cheaper, it's, close, it's a little bit lower than the one from Ter Stegen. So he would like to bring the, the goalkeeper from Chile. So just in case, we, we found the name of Diego Alves, the Brazilian goalkeeper from Valencia. I like the goalkeeper, uh, but I prefer that Bravo and Ter Stegen stays. But what do you think about that, uh, Diego Alves? I would like to know your opinion about this goalkeeper. The other point that they're gonna discuss is the fourth striker. As you know, Sandro Ramirez will be playing for Malaga next season and Luis Enrique doesn't trust Munir so much to, to cover the MSN from time to time. So the favorite one was Kevin Gamedo, 29 goals with Sevilla, but he wants to change and maybe it would be good for him to come to Barcelona, but he might be a little bit expensive for what Barcelona wants, they want to pay for a fourth striker. So if we don't find anyone, maybe Luis Enrique must trust a little bit more and Mr. Munir. Also about Andre Gomez, I think that we shouldn't sign him. Like I said last in, a, in another video, in the last video that we talked about Andre Gomez, we have one of the best midfielders in the world, Iniesta Busquets and Rakitic, and just in case they're injured, we have the great Sergi Roberto, the player that can play everywhere, Rafinha, Arda Turan, now Sergi Samper, and also we welcome Denis Suarez. So I think we have great midfielders. I wouldn't pay 60 million for him. I would save the money for a, a left back and also a striker. Talking about left backs, that's the important point. At the, at the moment, it looks like Luis Enrique is going to trust Sergi Roberto and Alex Vidal to cover the right one, the, 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 to cover the position from Dani Alves. But we need to find someone to rest from time to time, Jordi Alba. And the favorite one is Mattia De Siglio, the Italian player who could play in both sides, left and right, so that would be good. He's only 23 years old. And I know another one is Wendell from Bayer Leverkusen. He's very fast and he's, he plays like the same style uh, than Jordi Alba. So, Let's see who we bring, but I would bring Mattia De Siglio if he can cover both sides. And also we have to say bye-bye to a few players. Uh, Douglas might leave to Crusado, even though he wants to play in Europe, he doesn't want to go back to Brazil. The other one is Adriano, he will go probably to Lazio, and also Bermael might join Rome. Rome is very interested in the Belgian player, so let's see what happens. But if some players leave, we have to welcome another one. So we have to welcome Samuel Umtiti. The Euro Cup is over, he couldn't win, but I think he gave us a good test on, on what he's capable of. So uh, I'm very happy that he's here. We'll see if Luis Enrique plays him in the, in, the, in the lineup, in the beautiful lineup. I think he will start with Piquet Mascherano first and give him a few minutes to see how he responds. But yes, I'm happy with the French little kid. And also Chelsea, uh, go to the attack for Arda Turan. They wanted Arda Turan last season, but at the end uh, Arda Turan chose Barcelona. And it's true that some people would sell him, other people would give him another chance because they say that he hasn't, he hasn't been given uh, many minutes to prove himself, but he wants to stay. So the directors will talk to him to see what they decide. But yeah, Chelsea would like to have Arda Turan. And the last news from today is about Messi. Messi is thinking about leaving Barcelona after his contract is over in 2018. Because in the last month, everything 
well, everything. A lot is happened. Has happened to him. He lost the final of the uh, Copa America. Now all the fiscal fraud. And I'm not saying that he he, he mustn't pay. He he must pay. He, yeah, it's it's a crime what he did. So he must pay that. He will not go to jail because he has the money to pay that. And all what I think about the campaign that we are all messy. I think some people misunderstand that. We are not saying that Messi shouldn't go to jail or Messi shouldn't pay. It's just uh, a campaign to support him. Like every when 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 the terrorist things happen in Paris and Istanbul, everything everybody was. We are all Paris. We are all Istanbul. It's the same thing. We are supporting Messi and just to give him support because he's a human being. He has feelings like everybody else. So I hope that he plays a few more years, not only at 2018. But I hope that when the when he pays his fee and when the season starts and he starts enjoying again the game with his friends Suarez and Neymar, everything will be all right. That's my opinion, but I would like to know your opinion, so write it right here below. And you know I love you all, no nationers. And if you are not a no nationer yet, what are you waiting for? Just click the spotlight right here below to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. <sighs> love you all. Love you all. Bye bye.